What up everyone, Shaquille Mahjoudi here for CBS Sports, and you know who this is, he is the UFC's number two ranked heavyweight contender fighting for the interim heavyweight championship at UFC 295 on Saturday, Sergei Pavlovich, how are you sir? Thank you, everything's great, I feel great. Um, now listen, I know we have not a lot of time and a lot to talk about. First things first, I'm guessing you're in New York City right now. Uh, how does it feel to fi suddenly find yourself fighting for the title at UFC's 30th anniversary show in Madison Square Garden when you were originally the backup for this? Of course, I have the most positive feelings, the most positive emotions. This is a, a way to my dream. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. What was your initial reaction to hearing that Tom Aspinall will be filling in? Because here you are preparing for John Jones or Stipe Miocic possibly, and suddenly, you know, the circumstances have totally changed. Да, на самом деле изменилось. Ну, самое главное то, что поезд на кону, поэтому остальное не важно. Все, все хорошо, ментально готов, физически готов. Yeah, you know, it was uh, it was a sudden change, but uh, but the most important thing is the belt. Nothing else matters. I'm ready mentally, I'm ready physically, so I'm ready to go on Saturday. What changed most about your training and your preparation going from possibly fighting one of two guys to knowing you're fighting Aspinall on 18 days notice? You know, in the base, I think that Stephen Mi is a more hit, that John Jones is a more hit. So, in general, Особая работа велась, грубо говоря, скажем так, подходящая под Тома. Внесли некоторые коррективы, но, в принципе, делали такую подходящую работу под соперника. You know, Stipe is more of a stand-up fighter, where John is more of a, of a wrestling and grappler. So, technically, if you combine those two together, we were pretty much preparing for Aspinall. So, we did, uh, we did a little bit of corrections. We, we corrected some things in preparation, but mostly we were preparing right away. Um, I know that at these pre-fight press conferences, fighters tend to pull out their best clothing. Uh, my man, you're looking very sharp. You're looking like someone from the mob here. Are we expecting an outfit like this on Thursday? No, no, no. It's just a photograph. I'm just going to put it in there. 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 No, no, it was somebody who just sent me one of these photos. I don't know if it was like AI generated or whatever. It was just a picture that I really liked, and so I threw it on my Instagram. Well, you should maybe try finding that outfit. You're in New York. I think it would fit perfectly. Посмотрим, почему нет. Посмотрим. Yeah, let's see. Why not? Let's see. Um, when you look at Tom and yourself, where is he the most dangerous in this fight, and where are you the most dangerous in this fight? Ты знаешь, как я тебе скажу, что он разносторонний, как может и в стойке работать, так и побороться, поэтому во всех аспектах опасный. С моей стороны такая же история. Поэтому осталось дождаться субботы, клетка закроется и посмотрим. You know, he's a pretty well-rounded fighter. He can fight stand-up, he can fight on the ground. So uh, my side of the story, it's the same. So we'll have to just wait till Saturday. The cage will close and then we'll see. In... A preferred scenario, would it have been, and I know you're, you know, you're just happy to be fighting for the title, but if you could choose either Jones or Miocic on two days' notice or Aspinall on two weeks' notice, what benefits you the most? You know, the scenario doesn't change much because we're talking about the belt here, the highest honor. Do you think that you'll ever face John Jones or Stipe Miocic? Because I know there was sort of rumors that they both might retire after they fight each other. Like, are you expecting that if you win the interim t title on Saturday, that you will be the undisputed heavyweight champion before you meet either of those guys? Есть такая хорошая поговорка: не дели шкуру неубитого медведя. Сейчас у меня есть бой, у меня все мысли о бое, а после боя мы будем уже смотреть, что да как. Yeah, we have the saying in Russian that you can't uh, you can't divide the the fur of a bear that you haven't killed yet. So right now I have a fight in front of me. The fight is like uh, the Saturday. The fight is for the title. So first we get to get this title, and then we'll worry about what happens next in the next okay. steps. Uh, I won't ask about dividing bear fur, but I am curious. When the fight is over and it's time to enjoy some more food, are you more excited to try some famous New York City foods or go home and eat some borscht? Ну, сейчас вот э, пойду кушать местную кухню, health food. А, конечно, после боя хочется поесть борща.
you know, right now I'm gonna go check out some New York food, uh, healthy New York food. But after the fight, yeah, of course it's borscht. Yes, yes. What um, you know, the modern heavyweight, you, Cyril, Jelton Almeida, Tom, you guys are a lot leaner. For you, um, I imagine the weight cutting isn't as big of an issue. How does your diet and training camp differ from, let's say, someone? who might have to get down to 265 or someone in the lighter divisions who has to actually work really hard to get to that exact weight. So, in principle, просто ем чистую еду, убираю мучное всякое. Рис, стараюсь рыба, курица, ничего сверхъестественного. Овощей много. You know, it's nothing extraordinary. It's just I'm trying to, you know, have clean food, eat clean food, uh, you know, fish, chicken, rice, uh, lots and lots of fresh vegetables, just things that, you know, are good and that not going to not going to do bad to me at the end. OK, well, I hope you make a little bit of room for some pizza and some bagels before you leave New York City. Um, the last thing and I let you go here, Sergey. I'm sure that you will let the fight come to you, but if we could write the story in advance, what is the dream scenario for how you beat Tom Aspinall on Saturday? You know, I'm probably one of the guys who talks about it more than he does. So I think, first of all, we have to do the work, and then we will tell them. You know, I'm probably one of those fighters that doesn't like to talk much, but like to do more. So I think that right now, what's important is to do the deed, to do the thing. And then we'll talk about it and the perfect scenarios once it happens. Yes, well, you know, uh, there may be no fighter in the sport who lets their actions speak for them the way you do, Sergey. Не знаю такого другого бойца в этом спорте, который бы не не олицетворял вот то, что ты говоришь, что меньше меньше болтай, больше делай. Наверное, ты единственный, кто из них такой. Okay. Это очень хорошо. That's sir, a great thing. That's a good yes, thing. Sir, yes, sir. Sergey, I'd like to leave you with the last word. I'll do my part very quickly. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Please subscribe, tap the thumbs up button, leave a comment. Let us know what is your official prediction for Sergey Pavlovich versus Tom Aspinall. That headlines UFC 295 at Madison Square Garden on Saturday. Sergey, if there's anything you would like to tell your fans, the floor is yours, my friend. Сергей, если есть что-то, что ты хотел бы сказать своим фанатам и ребятам, которые будут за тебя болеть, сейчас микрофон у тебя, говори, что, что хочешь. Конечно же, хочу сказать вам большое спасибо, кто болеет за меня. Чувствуется ваша поддержка. Обязательно смотрите бой, потому что будет настоящая война. Of course, I'd like to say uh, a great thank you. I'm very grateful for everybody who supports and who's watching the fight. Please make sure to tune in. It's going to be a real war.